so for me um in this particular project this song mode sequence is the one that i did my final mix in so uh these all these programs sound the way that i want my final uh beat to sound so what i can do now is pretty tedious here but um I can go through each of my other sequences and I can assign them to the programs that have my finalized mix on it, which is uh, the sequence four programs. Uh, my sequence four sample, my sequence four uh, kick, etc. So when I do that, it's basically going to run all the rest of my sequences through these exact uh, programs here that are used in sequence four. And that's going to make all my sequences sound the exact same because they're all now going to be utilizing the same program. Now, if you don't want um, all your sequences to sound the same, then you're going to have to leave it the way um 1.7 converted it and keep all your uh duplicate programs but for me this is my final mix so i would be happy with all my sequences um running through these particular drum programs so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to go here i know i'm in sequence three i want the sample track the root to the sequence four track one which is my sample I know I want my snare to run through the original because I kept that the same in my uh, final sequence. I know I want my kick to sound the same as it does in the final sequence. So I'm going to set that. And I'm basically just going to set the rest of these to the sequence four uh, program for each of these tracks. All right. So. And I just got to do that for every sequence. This is the tedious part. So sample. All right, so now I have all my sequences <coughs> rooted to the same uh, six programs. So now, you know, I have all these extra programs. I don't need them. So guess what? Delete. Anything that doesn't doesn't have sequence four on it will be deleted. And the tedious part about this is you can only do one at a time. So. Yeah. And now these are all my final programs. So now. In order to make this even more neat and to make these. Uh, root labels these rooting labels more neat I can go ahead and just rename these programs so I know this is my snare program I know this one is my sample track 7 is my kick so now when I go back into the mixer it looks a lot more neat and I can now more easily see uh, where my things go. And if I want to even get more fancy with it, I can name my contact roads. So now every sequence has the exact same program on it, which gives me a global mixer. And you'll hear when I play it back, it sounds exactly the same as it did when I played it the first time. So yeah, that's uh that's basically the gist of it. Um and it's probably a little complicated the way it works, but uh, it's actually really, really simple. It just looks complicated, especially when you have more and more sequences. Um, so if you weren't quite able to 
grasp this enough from this video just uh drop me some questions in the comments and uh i'll try to get back to you and uh uh answer your questions and try to help you through this a little a little bit more um hopefully this video was uh helpful to somebody um you know so yeah um once again it's hellfire with machine masters.com peace